Hey, what's up guys? It's Trap back again with another episode of the Trap Talk Show. And today we have Ryan on the show once again. Hey, what's up guys? It's worse. A very tired Ryan. He's not the worst, though. It's just worse. Worse 850. 850 cents? How much is that, Ryan? That's about eight dollars. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually it is eight dollars. Yes. <laughs> I want to I wanna bring these types of episodes to you guys for one particular reason because I think it can make a difference and it can make a difference in, in my own, in my own, like, in myself too because I, cause the, me knowing that I'm doing something good or, like, making a difference is what, is what matters to me and, like, I know and what I really want to do with my life, one thing that I know I want to do with my life and I feel like Ryan kind of has the same kind of sort of, like, way of doing things is, like, I think that we both really want to, like, bring our pain and turn it into a positive. Because if you can't do that, then what else do you have? Like, that's how deep that I'm taking this, guys. Like, because it's just, like, that's just how real it can get. That's how real life can get. Because, yeah, we can all, like, have fun and games and, like, conversations and, like, you know, laugh about stuff. But, like, at the end of the day, like, it, dep- it like it re- really matters. And what I learned about people over the years of me living <laughs> is um, is what really matters is what is going on in someone's head, right? And I think Ryan can agree with that. Because, mm-hmm. like, the problem that we have as humans... And, like, one of the reasons that I think me and Ryan always just talk about a lot of deep, have a lot of deep, because we can get on the phone and, like, and me and Ryan have been talking about stuff like this for, like, weeks now. Like, because me and him will get on the phone for, like, four hours, sometimes five hours, like, just talking about stuff. Like, and it could be good or bad, but, like, a lot of times it's just how we're feeling, like, just in general. And I respect the living heck out of our friendship for that, because... Like, because he's the one person that, like, I go to and, like, I feel like, you know, he may not completely relate sometimes, but that's, but how I see it is, like, it's okay because we're two different people and it's, like, and but that's, to me, that's a good thing. Whenever you can have a conversation with a friend or even just a complete stranger and y'all are complete opposites, it doesn't matter because... <clears throat> most likely you had the same kind of experience but you receive it or think about it or like or process it a different way and like in a lot of ways Ryan like you and I are like very similar but like we're also like very different in like di- in different ways but like one thing that we have mutually is like a lot of times we do like we do process bad days the same way. There's something uh, just about anyone I think can relate to. I mean, even if you are completely opposite, I mean, everyone kind of goes through the same thing. I mean, I guess it does depend from job to job. I mean, it doesn't specifically have to be a bad day because of your job or anything like that. But like, you know, that's, that's, that's kind of what we're getting at. I mean, of course, like I said, it doesn't have to be a job, but, it can just sometimes you can just have a bad day just for no reason. Well, here here's like, the hint, guys. Just... Our jobs, <laughs> like that's kind of like what that's kind of what we've been talking about over the past couple of weeks is like just sometimes you could just and the the issue with like bad days with me is the bad day and I think Ryan agrees like well to an extent because I'll talk about you know like we can talk about like who we work with and stuff later but like. <laughs> Uh, cause Ryan knows what I mean about that, but like, but it's one of those things like, but mostly like for me anyway, and my, like what I go through is like, it's all mental. Like it, it could literally have nothing to do. I mean, yeah, it always starts with something. It starts with someone saying something. It starts with someone getting under my skin or whatever, but it's my own fault that I carry it throughout the day. Right? Like it's literally... Most of the time, a two-second little thing. And Ryan has said this to me in person about people that he's worked with. Um, where it's like, sometimes it just takes one little thing that that person is not even thinking about anymore. <laughs> but it just like, it just like festers. And like, 
and it's and I'm and I'm the type of person that I like to let things go real quick. Like I don't want to let stuff get to me. But like the bad day I had recently was just one of those days where stuff just kept building up. And I, it was probably a solid of three things, and that's not even that many. Like try to fit three problems into a whole day. Like I mean, three things isn't that much. But like it was probably a total of three things. That someone was like saying to me, and it wasn't even necessarily like n super bad negative. It was just like, it just made me think about me as a person and what what do I need to change? Because you kind of, because pe the thing about people is people can change your perspective on yourself just a little bit, make you realize things. And I think that's a healthy thing. That's a good thing. We should never take any of that for granted because you should always learn from yourself and other people. Like other people are what. Like, because sometimes you could have a pattern in life, and then it takes another person to, like, wake you up to something, right? Because it's like, that's just how it works. But, it's just one of those things, guys. Like, if you, and this is the problem that I have, and I, and I think I said it just a second ago. I don't even remember, to be honest, but, like, that thing that you do, and that this is to myself, too, because I, I do this. That thing that you do... Where you let stuff bother you, and it's just like if it, it just it builds up. <clears throat> or what I do is beat myself up over about something. Stop doing that. Like, let that thing that you that is like getting to you, like something that. How can I explain this? Like, you need to take it. And turn it into a positive no matter what. Like, make every single lesson that you learn an actual lesson in life. Like, how many times have we had a problem about something and it just didn't end up being a lesson? It was just something that's like, oh, this was unneeded and a waste of my time. Like, there's a, there's a lesson to be learned in everything. Every little thing happens, like, for experience. I mean, it's, it's so you have experience for next time. And whether you learn from it or not... It's whatever, but I mean, it's just life, and I mean, it's, it's, it's either good or bad. I mean, there's really, um, it's real, it's, you know, it's, it really, de like, it really depends on, like, your personality, um, like Trav said, your mental, like, state, because I mean, that's, that's the thing with me, like, um, it all ties back to like, I take everything way too personal and it's just a, it's probably my biggest flaw of all time. Like, I mean, that's, that's just putting it how it is. I, don't really, I think I can't we've all think done that in some, flaw. in some way. I know, but I don't know. Like, cause you start overthinking and then you're like, oh my gosh, this this person, oh my gosh, and then you got the wrong idea because they there didn't even mean to <laughs> like say that. And that there, there, there's the time that might actually be the title. They did mean to say that, but they didn't mean for you to take it how you took that it. That might, or... that actually might be Ryan. Just Ryan just said it right there, like perfect, like overthinking. That is the that's like that's one of the biggest issues, I think, in humans, but. I, I say that just because I experience it mostly. Like, I mean, I don't know what other people do or whatever, but I, I know some overthinkers, and I know it's a genuine, actual issue that people have, and I know that I have it, and, like, I even recently, like, was telling Ryan about something or I just kind of am just generally assuming a situation, whatever. It may not even be the case. And, like, I have that, man, I can't even, I have so many heartbreaks in my life just because I overthought something and that can freaking backfire. Like you can overthink something and come up to a person and like you are the like, you know, and assume something that isn't even true. The scariest thing and I said it to Ryan the other day on the phone, like and now now I'm being re reminded of like what we were talking about. <clears throat> but the scariest thing in life is the unknown. Not knowing, like, those friends that you people have out there that are, like, you might think are, like, too busy to hang out or whatever, like, and, like, you you know, you're, you're thinking to yourself, oh, they just hate me now or whatever. Like, you don't know that. 
You have no idea, like, unless you have a fact and they told it to you or your face, you have nothing to go on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is, this is the kind of conversations I want to have. Like, you have nothing to go on with stuff like that. And I have that so much where I just assume things and I'm not even trying to have those thoughts. And I told Ryan this <laughs> the other day too. I'm just being brought back to everything you're talking about. Like, I was watching a video the other, not long ago. This was probably like a month ago I watched this about some guy saying, like, you have no control over your thoughts. Like, nobody in this earth, your thoughts come. They just happen. And you don't you don't create the thought. Sometimes you can create a If you're like a creative person, let's just say you're like drawing a piece of art, Okay. Uh, shout out to my boy Aaron, uh, Aaron over there making some amazing art. Um, let's just say you're Aaron, and like he creates in his brain an idea for a piece of art. He created that thought. Like that's how I see that situation. That's probably the best same example I can come up with. Is he created like I want to do this, and then molded it slowly. Like when you write a book, it's a thought that you thought of. A creative, but most, but it still comes off of a thought that you probably randomly had, right? Like, it's just something <clears throat> that just happens. You cannot control your own thoughts. So, the best thing, and I need to do this way more often, the best thing for you to do as a human being is to take those thoughts and just know. I can't control these, so what's the point in trying to overthink every single one, huh? Like, and that is a big issue, and I think that's gonna, and I literally believe in, within my soul, that's gonna make me a better person within the next 20, 30 years. Like, if I just realize, like, I can't control every thought that comes to my head, just let it fly away, you know? Take it and not worry about it. at all and and seriously that's amazing advice like i um i, I mean i've kind of tried to train myself like with how with how bad it can get with me like with how bad i can overthink and how how much that probably just hinders s just stuff like it would hinder just about anything i mean if you if you could just master turning that off like man I, like I'd, I'd be set i mean and maybe a lot of people like some people are pretty much just born with that whole ability to just not even overthink and go into stuff and like as for me and, and yeah i want to meet those I, people <laughs> yeah it's like as for me it's like one of these things where if i'm not 100 percent about something i'm not gonna do it and that's not okay like that's not correct that's not the way to do things at all i mean i mean yeah maybe some things yeah you might as well be 100 percent on but uh like a lot of just decisions like just go go ahead i mean i mean that's easy for me to just say but i mean i i don't know it's it's a it's a whole hurdle that life just throws at you and i believe it throws it at everybody but at different levels like because i mean People can be going through the same stuff I'm going through or Trav's going through, and it's just nothing to them, you know? Like, it's different for everybody. Yeah, it depends. Different. Like, it just... So it's like, okay, oh my gosh. Like, okay, I can finally say this, like, in a video form. Um, and I even, like, when I saw this... It's a meme, but it's a very meaningful meme. Just one of those. Um, and I even... It's just one of those memes, even that my mom and dad were like, "Oh my gosh, that's awesome!" Like, <laughs> but um, freaking okay, uh, it's just it's literally, it was literally saying what I said. Like, you you can be going through the same exact like it was just two dogs in the mud, and just the puppy is a puppy and just a big dog, and then the puppy is just covered in mud, but the big dog like it barely comes up just to his knees. And they're going through the same mud patch. Yeah. Like, that's very that's cool. powerful. That's powerful. Like, literally, like... And it's just one of those cutesy, just funny memes. But, but it's exactly, deep. exactly 
what I have always thought just put into a picturesque, beautiful way. And like, now I'm never going to forget it because that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what life is. Um, and I mean, of course that's not always how it is, but that's, that's the gist <laughs> like of, yeah, or it could you be, can be like the opposite of that where, you know, yeah, like, like people that <clears throat> the whole point of like, I don't know, therapy groups and all that, the whole, you know, the, we have all seen them in shows and movies and I've never even been to one cause I'm never, I don't want to go to one, but <laughs> like one of those like, you know, therapy circles where it's like, we all have, take a turn to talk about our thing. Like there's always going to be someone in that group that's had a similar situation. So they had the same, um, amount of mud or they are having the same amount of mud at the same time. So that that's beautiful because like people can connect whatever you're going through the same, you know, the same depth or whatever, like you can, you know, that's what people don't do enough. That's the point I'm trying to make. It's like, just talk about it. Like, the, you know, suicide and, like, depression and all this stuff, it only, it only makes it worse and increase likelihood of it if people just don't talk about their problems. And I've been such a believer in that all this time, like, that if you don't open up about it, then nothing, like, not, unless you somehow change things in yourself, then nothing will change, like... It's just, it's really, it's depressing in itself. <laughs> like, it's just ironic. But some people, some people could see, like, oh, talking about my, like, I can't wait to talk about my problems. And, like, maybe to some people that could seem, like, petty and not really, but, I mean, it's every little bit you talk matters, like, to whatever. Now, I'm not saying go out and, like, talk bad about people. Like, I've, I've been oh, really yeah, bad about doing that. that. But, um, as for, like, literally just your personal struggles, problems, yada, yada, go ahead. Because, I mean, like, it's not harmful to anybody. It's just only helpful, really. But, like, it is cathartic to, to gossip and just talk about people. Like, it, <laughs> like in a way, it feels good. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know. It, it's, it's good to just talk. Um, and I, I don't know, I feel it's, it's probably great just even doing this show in this way, it's probably great for me to kind of like rack my brain and really kind of go through like, okay, what could like, um, what could be a good cathartic <laughs> like way to get something off my chest and, uh, I don't know, it's, it, it's healthy to talk in general, like be social, like, um. I don't know. I mean, the more antisocial you are, maybe that's the connection. Like, maybe the more antisocial, you, you're more you're more likely to overthink. You're more likely to have. Yeah. Here's here's a here's a deep thought for you that I just thought of right as you were speaking. The more, and this is something I've always believed, the more social you are as a person, the more you might be able to find yourself. Boom. Yeah. 100%. Because because one thing that I've always felt. Like, is, I I do I do get into the zone. I get it. I get into that independent, like wanting to just kind of be alone. Even even if it's just for like two days of just with my own thoughts, that's also healthy. There's like there's two ways to it where it's like you can help yourself by doing that. But if you go too far into that darkness of just like not really. Not really allowing yourself to talk about things and all up, all only in your head. It can, it just gets so dangerous, guys. Like it, I've, I've, I've met people. I have seen, like, I'm not gonna say I've seen everything, um, but I've seen some things, and like I've seen how people being alone, only with their own thoughts, and even myself, it's really bad. Like it's not, it is not a good, it's not a good thing. Um, but there is a level to it. Like, yeah, find the balance is all I can say. Find the balance of letting yourself kind of breathe, but also just don't be afraid to like 
oh, man, I just really want to let this one thing out, like, you know, or whatever, then go tell, there's always gonna, everyone's got friends, like, you can't tell me that you have no friends. <laughs> Everyone knows somebody, so go talk to somebody about something. I've literally told people things that I barely even know just because I just had to let it out, like, you know, I've got friends on Facebook that I really don't talk to every day, but like, hey, you know, so I've, I've always been that type of person, too, and I used to be even more into so the now. Nowadays, I don't do it as often. But I used to literally just randomly message people, like, that I really barely talk to just because I'm kind of wanting to build some sort of... And it's not kind of like a p pitiful thing. It's just like, hey, are you dealing with the same thing? Kind of thing. It's kind of that chance of, like, hey, what do you think of this? And you kind of learn a lot about people by their advice as well. Because, like, I've met people, it's like... Well, maybe I shouldn't have asked your advice. And then there's people that's, like, smarter than that and, like, actually good at it. Um, and those are the people I respect the most. But, yeah, it's just, it's one of those things, like, if you, you just gotta find the balance. Because I am, I am that type of person that's, like, I need my alone time, but I also really don't like being alone for too long. Um... And that sounds pathetic, it sounds whatever, it sounds depressing, but that's just life. Like, what else is there? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> One thing to try to do is keep a positive attitude. That's always what I strive for. I've really tried my hardest not to ever really, like, and I, I believe I've, I, for the most part, I think I've mastered it, all things considered. I really try my absolute hardest to not really get angry mad or mean yeah but to the like, other I side really... of the coin of that what i've told you before is like you gotta let some of that out though i know i gotta mean and that, like, and so and that's why then it happens and that's why me and you talk about things and then, <laughs> it's but it's cause... like i really like i mean compared to a lot of people i would say that i'm incredibly good at just really keeping my cool to this to the fullest like i'm an extremely patient person yeah because there's this level um, of like you know you stuff can get led if you don't act on something then most likely you'll forget all about it anyway so i mean so you do have a good point about that like if you just stay calm sometimes then it'll just pass yeah staying positive it goes along with that whole like being more social it's kind of a chain of events. Like, if you're more positive, you'll probably be more social. If you're more social, you'll probably be more happy overall. If you're more happier overall, you probably won't be as prone to overthinking. Um, and it, it's just, it's, it's really, it's really, you know, it's just, like I said, it's easier to say than do. It really is. But, um, I don't know. I mean... Everyone can relate to it in their own way. Everyone can, you know, get their own idea of what, you know, what their ideal, like, way of dealing with things would be. Um, and that's... The, the whole point is that we're all together on this. Like, that's, that's literally just the most beautiful thing, in my opinion. It's like, like, why does everyone have to just, like fight about everything and like all this stuff going on like whenever some it's people like, love to be negative i don't get yeah, it i know but it's just like we're all fighting the same battle we're all trying to survive yeah we all have like our different paths and stuff we want to do but we all have brains that think on a daily basis that's how i see that situation it's like you wake up thinking you go to bed thinking um and it's just <clears throat> it's nice to just come together as a community like and that's one thing about this food review channel or food review channel <laughs> this food review community that's really like shown it's shown me some things over the years that you know i'm not saying oh i didn't see but i wouldn't have been able to experience if i didn't have a channel like you know the freaking the beauty of like people coming together and really like being a family like for instance like just recently you know <clears throat> and he made it public, so I'm I'm sure he's okay with talking about it. But uh, or I mean, or for me to talk about it. But you know, Ian K from Peep This Out going to the hospital and all that. Just the freaking, for his, the outpouring of like just people like legitly upset, like uh, you know, because he's a real person. That's the whole point. And like he, you know, he mentioned that in his live stream. Like, you know, it's like I'm a real person. Like I, 
<laughs> you know, people, you know, I, I think we take advantage of, like, YouTubers that's like, oh, they upload content, and, like, you know, and suddenly they vanish for, like, the day or whatever, or, or for, like, a week. It's like, that's one thing that I'll always stress to you guys about my content is, like, I cannot, I cannot always, like, I cannot always upload. Like, if I could upload every day, I would. But, like, if I was doing this for a living, then, yeah, <laughs> I probably would. But, like, it's like, I for one, my sanity. For two, uh, <laughs> for two, burp. But anyway, guys, freaking anxiety and all that stuff, like, I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you guys, just stop. Like, it's not that easy. Like, just, you know, but there are ways. I think one what people really don't end up doing is there are ways to help you. That's the difference, guys. That is the difference. There are ways to calm yourself. Like, you know, here's the thing that I learned over the years having anxiety and stuff is the more and the longer that I do not do anything about it, the worse it's going to get. That's literally how it is. Like the longer I let it fester and not figure out ways. Like I remember, I remember one specific day. I remember the day where I told myself, like I put my foot down, like in my head, it was a mental thing that you have to do. It's it takes work, guys. I get it. I get it. It sucks. You have to do the work sometimes, and I hate doing. The, I hate making. I hate setting my brain to mentally do something. Like it's not even a physical thing. It's like it's almost like you're making your brain physically move. Like it's this weird experience of like, no, <laughs> like you put your foot down. Like no, I will not let this do this to it takes strength guys like and I know that some of you viewers know what I'm talking about like when it feels like almost physical in your brain like you just say no I'm not going to let this continue to put me down and the more that you put that put put that off the worse it gets like that is so that is so real, guys. I can't even express, like, how real that I'm being about this. Just know that every day that you wake up, it's a, there's a fight worth fighting. There is more to life than that darkness that you're in. Because, I, man, I know. And there's probably people listening right now, no matter how long from now you're listening, or if you're listening in the day it's uploaded, you're going through something... Or you're dealing with some mental stuff. It may not even be a physical, like, things are happening in your family. Yada, yada. You, your whole life around you could be perfect, but you're still dealing with some mental stuff, right? Like, every day that you wake up is a new day. Like, that's cliche to say, but it is a new day to fight. It's a new day to realize. And I, I, remember, the, I remember one day where I, th I knew that in my head. Like, I figured that out. It took some real thinking. It took some real soul digging to realize, you know, all this time that I have in my life, I could be fixing it, you know? You almost kind of feel like, why is my life like this? Why is it, like, why do I always feel like this? Like, why do I have this or that? Why do I overthink? Why anxiety? Blah, blah, blah. Like, like... It doesn't matter because every day you're given a new chance. Every single day is a day that you could be working on yourself. And time you can be working. Every hour that you're awake. Sometimes it just takes the mental work. And I know it sucks. Sometimes you're just tired. You don't want to think about... You have to think about a lot. But just take time to like... Even if it takes pure meditation, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I've tried meditation, and it's pretty fantastic. <laughs> like, it's like, and I really need to get back on doing it again. Like, I'm, I am I, want to re-listen to this, me say that, and like, no, and remind myself, like, I, I need to relearn how to meditate. Because meditation is like, 
like real meditation is purely like thinking about nothing and making yourself think about nothing for a certain amount of time, depending on how long you want to test it. But I, when I was meditating a while back, like, yeah, that was like, that was like 10 minutes of just making, making your mind wipe. Like you, you make sure like any thought that comes to your brain, just imagine like, I imagine just like a white screen, like just nothing. Like it really was therapeutic. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I actually was like, wow, I feel better because your brain needs time to just not think. Like, I really think that, that that's actually, like, a scientific thing. It's like, sometimes your brain, and sleep isn't it, because screw sleep. Screw sleep, you're still thinking. I don't care what anybody says, but you're still thinking when you sleep. There's still dreams, there's still whatever. Man, I've been having some weird ones, by the way, lately. Not, like, real bad, they're just really weird. But, like... Your brain needs time to stop thinking, and so I challenge you to do that. If you're dealing with something, just take time, and maybe if you don't want to do the whole meditation thing, like, whatever, and it's not this whole thing of, like, sitting in, like, Indian what, a position and, like, whatever you call that, and, like, no, it's just literally, like, sitting in silence and, like, just literally thinking about nothing, and it, that in itself takes work, but it, it it's supposed to. <laughs> so... Where I want people to, what what I want people to take from this is what I said a minute ago is like every day that you're awake is time to work on yourself. And when I one day when I realized that I realized that everything will be was gonna be so okay and I'm gonna have an amazing life because I'm gonna make sure if I literally live if I live to fight my problems, that's worth it. Even that's worth it to me. I mean, because that's life, is problems. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. But I don't know if <laughs> Ryan has anything to add to that. It's, it doesn't even have to be I'm 10 minutes. Sure. It, it doesn't even have to be 10 minutes. It can just literally be like 5 minutes or... Whatever, or you're like your lunch break, just a little bit of your lunch break or something per day, and just kind of just chill yeah, out. Why do you think me like, and you always were saying like, oh, I got off work, man, got to take time to just not to just unwind. That's what I always yeah, I call it's, it. It's, or it's like a show or like something I just dive into. That's why I'm just a nerd and I love things is because it's a like I mean it sounds kind of sad to say, but a lot of stuff that I like is an escape. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, I love just diving into stuff. Like, for instance, Ryan's got me on um, on Atlanta, and it's pretty great. So, check out Atlanta on Hulu. It's got um, Childish Gambino, a.k.a. Donald Glover. Watch that, and don't ask Crazy why. Show. Don't ask why, just watch. It's one of those shows where you don't need to know why. You just know right when you're watching it. <laughs> like, it's just, one, it's literally one of those shows. I can't explain it to anybody. I've tried. Like, I'm just like, I don't know how to explain it except for a comedic drama. Because that's what Hulu says is a genre. So it's just like, okay, I'm in. You know, it's like, it's weird. Um, It's weird and good, and I love it. <laughs> and by the way, the episode where... Like, there's that guy that's like super, like, he's not racist, but he's so, he's almost opposite. Where he was like, he was in his expensive house, <laughs> and like, and the guy's just so pro, pro, like, he loves black people so much, and I mean, that's, you know, it's like, <laughs> and that's great, cause like, but, he, like, it was just creepy, and it reminded me so much of freaking, um, uh, what was that movie, um, Get Out, it was just very, like, Okay, everything's just weird in this house. <laughs> like, that's exactly... And if you notice, um... I don't know if you noticed, but, like, on the dude's shelf was, like, a Childish Gambino album. Like, it was yes. just kind of, like... It was pretty great yeah. how it was just... Like, little, like, nods and that. So it made me think, man, there's probably so many Easter eggs in this show, like, that I didn't notice. And so I can't wait to just find out. Like, after I watch this whole show, all I'm going to do is just probably watch videos about, like, about the show. Like, you know, or go deeper. There might even be some, like, Donald Glover interviews that I'm missing out on or something. Cause I, that's the thing with me, guys, is I love, like... 
I love diving into something so hard where I gotta find out everything. Like, I just gotta, like... Like, or, like, bands. I've been telling Ryan about, you know, like, bands that I'm diving back into and, like, watching all the interviews, all the suggested... I'm just that way. I gotta watch it all. Well, guys, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I'm kind of running out of steam here I want to talk about, but I think I think we made some good points, don't you think? No. Oh, man. I got Ryan on the late hour here, so, like, it's pretty, it's bedtime for him. But, um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate the living heck out of you. Uh, and we cannot wait to talk to you again. It's, I'm, I think me and Ryan are way more, more, probably too excited to do this show, do you think? Maybe just a little too excited. Yeah. Well,. That pretty much wraps it up, guys, so thank you guys so much for watching, and go subscribe to Worst Reviews. You will be talking to him soon, and I'll let him say his goodbyes. Yeah, guys, definitely have an awesome week. I hope you uh, got something out of this episode. If not, then, oh my. But then, <laughs> again... Uh, oh well, you know, it's like... Uh, it's... <laughs> Yeah, you'll be hearing us later, uh, later on about maybe some like lighter topics, maybe even heavier. Who knows? We're just kind of, uh, just yeah, going on the fly here. Definitely with going with what the we're putting it. up. <laughs> like, yeah. It's so be I don't know. That's the that's the fun of it, though. So I mean, definitely keep an eye out for uh, newer episodes. And like I said, you'll be hearing us later. Thank you all for watching slash listening, and you'll be seeing and listening to us in the next ones. Trev out, and peace out.